Welcome back to the Jimmy Doji channel and in today's video it's another episode of Eze's 11, episode 3 now and in today's episode we're opening up a classic tin and a pocket tin to see how we can change up the team we have so far surrounding Eze Golden Baller. So if you're excited to see what we can add to this team in today's video then make sure to absolutely smash that like button and if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well so you do not miss any future videos including including all the episodes of SA's 11. So yeah, without further ado, let's open up a classic tin and a pocket tin and add to SA's 11. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for the support they've shown for this series so far. It's been fantastic so far. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can add to this team in today's video with a pocket tin and a classic tin. We're going to start with the pocket tin, which of course contains seven packs inside. Retails for £8.99. You get two limited editions inside with a chance of one of them being an excellence card. We have of course opened both of the pocket tins and the classic tins on the channel already. And let me tell you, these tins are absolutely stacked. Make sure to check those videos out. Uh, check those videos out uh, in the top right of your screen now so uh, let's see what we've got in here i don't think we've got an excellence card sadly but there is a chance we can add to another well add to our signature cards already in this team uh, by getting another one what i want from this video is i want a couple of better center halves in there maybe a better fullback on the left and then i don't know may we'll find out as we go along but definitely an improvement to the defense is needed um going through this video so yeah let's get started and see what we can hit in the first tin so uh we've got the code card and we've got the west ham badge dynamo josh brownhill ekdal garnacho Kukurea and Pickford. Yeah, none of those are going to get him. Obviously, we're at the stage now where we are, you know, we're going to be opening a fair few packs because not too many players will get into this team because it's very strong as it is. As I said, though, definitely needs an improvement at the back, I think. Uh, there's uh, Ahmed Hudzic, world class, game changer, Solly March. He's in a bad option, you know, Solly March. He's been on fire. He can he, he can play on the right, you know. Tell you what, Elise comes out. Solly March, game changer, goes in. I'm happy with that change, you know. Uh, then got Gibbs White. Uh, Virgil van Dijk. There we go. That's an improvement at the back. Adam Webster, Lukic, and Jan Elt there as well. Right. Uh, we're going to put van Dijk in instead of Diego Carlos, I think. Um, so there we go. That is very nice. Van Dijk at the back. One of the best centre-halves in the Premier League. That is what we like to see. Hopefully, we can get his limited edition card at some point, uh, just as a little upgrade to the current base card. Uh, next pack, we've got Buendia, Playmaker, Powerhouse, Max Kilman. We've then got Issa Diop, Mudrik, uh, Danny Welbeck. We've then got Damsgaard and Jack Cork. Hang on a minute. Was That was a pack with seven cards in. Look at that. What a result. Um, yeah, but none of them, I don't think, are going to get into the team ahead of what we've already got, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to those who are in that pack. It's a very strong team now. That Van Dyke has bolted this team up to, to perfection so far. Um, Ultrasonic Leon Bailey. Uh, Phil Foden next level. A lot of people wanted him to be in this team. He can play on the right. So we might play him. Do we, does he go in instead of Solly March? He's had a great start to the season, Solly March. But it is Phil Foden. We'll think about that one. Um, there's Ahmed Odzic. Salah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Christie and Patterson. Well, Salah has to go in. And I'm pondering about Phil Foden. So we'll put him to one side. The others don't make it in. But Mo Salah has to realistically be in this team. Where can he play? On the right wing. Right, we're going to have to get rid of one of these midfielders, aren't we? Realistically, I think we have to get rid of Solly March because Eze can play in the middle. So that's going to be in the midfield, which is a very good midfield, by the way. Solly March comes out. I'm sorry, Solly. That is quite harsh on you. And Salah has to go in on the right. That means Foden doesn't get in either, does he? Um, because, well, I suppose he could play on the left instead of Les Ferdinand. But it is a Les Ferdinand signature card. Wow, this is tricky. Les, he doesn't play on the... On that position, does he? I'll tell you what we will do, actually. Foden misses out. Salah goes on the right. We're going to do a 4-2-4. And uh, Eze goes in on the left wing. So that is the team so far with Salah and Eze either side of Eze, uh, of Haaland, should I say, and Les Ferdinand. 
That, I'll tell you, is a very strong team. And I didn't think there'd be this many changes already. We haven't even got into the classic tin yet. So this is this is mind-blowing. Bear in mind, by the way, the classic tin, we're guaranteed a golden baller as well. So things could get very tricky. Um, but yeah, next pack, we've got the Chelsea badge, the Brighton lineup, Andy Robertson, Lalana. We've then got Nick Pope and Sasha Lukic. Now, there could be a claim for Nick Pope, but I think Edison goes in because he's a... Well, Edison's arguably the best keeper in the league. Andy Robertson's a different one as well compared to Luke Shaw. We did have Robertson in the team already, didn't we? Ahead of Luke Shaw, who replaced him. But I think we can get better. I think we can get better than Luke Shaw and Andy Robertson. I'm trying to think who else there is, actually, to be honest. Yeah, that, that's a tricky one, left-back position. Let me know in the comment section what you would have done in that situation. Uh, we've got the Fulham badge. Ruben Neves, precision. Chukwameka. Evan Ferguson, not bad, but doesn't quite make it in. Jan Elt and Josh Brownhill. Um, yeah. A lot of people said I should do a subs bench for this team, so I might implement that in the next episode. But, uh, yeah, the tricky thing is all the cards we have discarded or, you know, have gone in the team and we've taken them out i've put back into piles and i don't know where they where they've gone who the players were etc so i might have to build that up for episode four perhaps let me know if you want to see a subs bench implemented for that episode um but yeah next pack last regular pack of the first pocket tin uh or set of first tin of the video should i say have we got an extra golden baller no we don't we have got Jorginho playmaker top keeper martinez daniel pedence jota uh, Jorginho base and Craig Dawson. Look at that. Double Jorginho in that pack there. Um, but none of them get in ahead of what we've already got, I don't think. It's a very strong team. Very strong team. Maybe a few more additions here and there are needed, but it's going to be difficult to change what we've already got. I reckon a legend Eric Cantona would look brilliant in this team. Um, but yeah, legend uh, or limited edition time. Is it going to be a legend? That's the question. Is it going to be a real auto, by the way, as well? It's going to be an Arsenal midfielder. That, I believe, is Martin Odegaard. Let's reveal it. Bosh! Oh, it is as well. That's a tricky one. Martin Odegaard. Oh, that's difficult. Does Martin Odegaard get into this team? I think he might have to, you know. I think Les Ferdinand might be coming out of this team. Yeah, he is. Les Ferdinand's out. We're going to change it to a 4-3-3. Three, three, and uh, Martin Odegaard goes in the team just here. There we go. So it's a 4-3-3 three, three now. Les Ferdinand's signature comes out of the side. He would have been perfect option for the bench. It, it's a tricky one. That was a very tricky one, but I think Odegaard has to get in there because he is a very good talent, good captain for the team as well. Um, yeah, and he had a great season last year for Arsenal. So let's see what our second limited edition is from the pocket tin. It's going to be not a legend. It's going to be an Aston Villa defender. Who is that? Is that Matty Cash? Boom, it is Matty Cash. Where does he play? Right back. I don't think he gets in ahead of Trent Alexander-Arnold, sadly. But, yeah, Matty Cash, limited edition for Aston Villa. Um, yeah, doesn't get into the team, I'm afraid, on him. Uh, but, yeah, there we go. That's the pocket tin done. We've made a few additions, just well, three additions to this team, with the Salah, Odegaard, and Van Dijk going in. Um so yeah, now it's time for the classic tin. These retail for £11.99 and inside you get 10 packs, a limited edition, a golden baller and a coin card. And hopefully we can get something crazy inside. I mean, we're guaranteeing ourselves a golden baller. That's a good sign. And you never know, we might even get a second golden baller in the 10 packs you get inside as well. So uh, there's the golden baller pack. There's the limited edition pack. And there's the online coin code. There we go. Feel free to use that. And then we've got our 10 packs of cards. Put them to one side. Oh, there's another pack in here. That might be a lucky pack. Put that there. There we go. There's our tins. There's our two guaranteed packs, Slim Edition and Golden Baller, respectively. And let's get stuck inside the 10 packs as well to see what we can add, if anything, to this team. Manuel Akanji is a very good option instead of Lewis Dunk. Very good option. Uh, Mateta, Pedence, Fabian Scher. And then we have got World Class Zabani and Fire Richarlison. I think Manuel Akanji gets in ahead of Lewis Dunk. Yeah, there we go. That, I think, is a very good decision from me there. Um, nice. Right, okay. Lewis Dunk comes out. He's been in this team for a while, you know. So, fair play to you, Lewis. You, you, you've had a good stint at the back for Eze's 11. But let's see what else we can add in. We've got Dan Potts, uh, Josh Cullum, 
Kyle Walker. Ooh, right back. Does he get in ahead of Trent Alexander-Arnold? This is going to cause a lot of upset, I reckon. Whatever decision I make, Kyle Walker is unbelievable. Joachim Anderson, Powerhouse, and the Chelsea badge there. So none of them are useful. Oh, Kyle Walker. He's so good. Like, he's genuinely so good. He's going in. Sorry. Alexander-Arnold comes out. Kyle Walker goes in. In an ideal world, I'd have Alexander-Arnold in the midfield, but... Does, it doesn't say he can play there. Even so, Carl Walker can play centre-back. It's a tricky one. It, that that was one of the hardest decisions of the series, I'd say. But I I think you can agree with me. Carl Walker is just phenomenal in the right-back position. So he does stay there. Ideally, we need a, someone instead of Luke Shaw, maybe at left-back. I don't know. This is tricky, you know. Uh, we've got Jose Saar, uh, Azpil Equator, Dan Byrne, Thomas Partey. I don't think any of those get in. Maybe Dan Byrne. Does he play left back? He does. We could put Dan Byrne in instead of Luke Shaw. We'll think about that one. Uh, what else we got? Thiago, playmaker and game changer, Jared Bowen. Uh, I don't think anyone gets in ahead of Mo Salah. I believe Jared Bowen's been in this team already so far this series. Um, Luke Shaw over Dan Byrne. Yeah, we'll keep it at that for now. For now, at least. Right, what have we got in here? Let's see. We've got Kurt Zuma, uh, Tavernier, Tyrell Malassia, uh, Neil Mope, and the Burnley lineup, and then the Bournemouth badge. Nice and easy. None of those get into the team. Let's get into the next one. Come on, give us a golden baller. We have got William Saliba. Oh. Do we go three at the back? Wow. Oh, this is tricky now. William Saliba, what a centre back he is, by the way. Uh, Nick Pope again, Ahmed Hudzic, Garner, and then we've got, oh, the Premier League trophy, there we go, it's a classic, 1 in 50 packs, what a, what a hit that is, and Scott Twine Precision, um, oh, Saliba's got to go in, hasn't he, it just, yes, he can only play centre back, right, that's a tricky one, who does he go in instead of, Van Dijk or Manuel Akanji? I'm going to put him in instead of Manuel Akanji. I know he's only been in, uh, in this team for a couple of packs, but I think that's fair. So the back four is looking very strong now. That was the one thing I said going into this video. That's what I want to improve today. And we definitely have. Carl Walker, Van Dijk, Saliba, Luke Shaw is a very, very good back four. That Ryan, by the way. Our midfield is looking strong as well. Enzo Fernandez, Yaya Torre and Erdegaard. And the front three is electric as well. So let's see what else we can add to this team. We've got Scarpa, Allison. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Allison or Edison? That's the tr that is the million dollar question. Allison or Edison? Oh, we've got Salah in this pack as well. Blimey, this is going to be difficult. Uh, there's Salah, Ayer, and then we have got the Everton badge and Martinez top keeper. Plus two code cards. There we go. Use them on the app. If I'm being perfectly honest, I do think Allison is the best keeper in the Premier League. Um, but he's not shiny. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm putting him in. Allison, you're going in instead of top keeper Edison. And that is purely because I personally think you are the best keeper in the Premier League. And this is the best team I want to build, realistically, isn't it? It's a very good team now. Very good team. It's going to be very hard to make replacements to this team now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to get a subs bench made, aren't we, for the next episode, I reckon. We've got Ben Johnson, uh, Shaka, uh, Shacha Lukic, should I say. Mitoma. Oh, that's a tricky one as well. He's very good, but we've already got Eze on the left, so he can't go in. Uh, free insert cards, by the way. Happy days. What we've got, Ariel Ace Pinnock, uh, Christian Romero, world class, and Jordan Clark, Dynamo. None of them get in instead of what we've already got. Right, we've got three regular packs left. Then we've got our limited edition pack and our golden baller as well. Let's see what we've got. We've got Rian Brewster. We've then got Janelt, Carney Chukwemeka, Eric Dyer. And then we have got the Newcastle badge and Adrenaline Rush, Nayef Agued. Yeah, none of them get in. Uh, as I say, the more we go through into this series, it's going to be very hard to make replacements. We've got Kamara, Lamptey. Um, he's a right back. No, I don't think he get. No one gets in instead of Walker. Evan Ferguson, Edison base card. So they are literally going head to head now, Edison and Allison. But yeah, I I do think Allison comes out on top in terms of a goalkeeper battle. Hot shot, Evan Ferguson, and future star Rico Lewis at right back. Why does he have to be right back as well? I swear, didn't he play left back recently? Oh, maybe I'm getting mixed up, but 
Yeah, no, no, that's a shame because he would have looked good at left back instead of Luke Shaw. I don't think we're going to get many other better players than Luke Shaw or Andy Robertson for that left back position. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head, but I can't. I can't think of anyone else who could go in. Uh, but let's see who are who's going to be in the last pack. We've got James Shea, Brownhill, Sessignon, Chris Richards, and Emiano Buendia. And Jose Sarr, top keeper. Nice and easy. None of those get in. Right, ladies and gents, here we go. It's time for the limited edition and the golden baller pack. Let's see what we can add into this team. Hopefully something incredible. This is just going to be a regular player. It's going to be a centre mid for Burnley. Oh, it's him again. Oh, it's a signature. I didn't even realise he had signatures. Where we go. Josh Brownhill. Signature limited edition. What a result that is, by the way. I completely forgot he had signatures, but yeah, happy days. That's decent, but he just doesn't get into this team, let's be honest. Come on. Come on, Burnley fans. Even you can admit he doesn't get into this team. Um, so he goes to one side, but what a hit, by the way. A signature card. You love to see it. And then our golden baller. This is where things could get tricky. It depends who it's going to be. Uh, is it the right way? Yep, here we go. Right. Let's see which golden ball it's going to be in three, two, one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is perfect. Erling Haaland golden ball. Oh, yes. That is incredible. Oh, what an upgrade. He replaces himself. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. This team, by the way, is absolutely incredible. Let's read you through it after opening up. What is it now? Two multi-packs, a multi-set, and a pocket tin and a classic tin. So far, this is the team we've built. In goal, we've got Alison Becker. At right back, we've got Kyle Walker. The centre-half pairing of Van Dyke and William Saliba. Left back, we've got world-class Luke Shaw. In the midfield, it's a midfield free of Colossus Enzo Fernandez, signature limited edition of Yaya Torre and Martin Odegaard limited edition. And our front free consists of Mo Salah, Erling Haaland golden baller, and of course, the main man, the captain, Ebire Eze golden baller. Let us know what you think of this team down in the comment section. And of course, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video and this episode of Eze's 11, then make sure to absolutely smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And of course, hit the notification bell as well so you do not miss any future episodes of this series and of course of all the other videos which go live on the channel. So yeah, thank you very much everyone for watching. Really do appreciate it. What a team, by the way. Goodbye. Goodbye.